Welcome to the eye glucose blood glucose monitoring system, a cellular connected glucose monitor to help make managing diabetes simpler. In this video, we will cover a number of topics that will help you set up your eye glucose meter and take successful blood glucose readings that will be sent securely and automatically to your healthcare provider or care team. Please note that this video is not a substitute for reading your owner's booklet or for following the directions of your clinician or provider. If you have any questions about when or how often to test your glucose levels, please reach out to your care team. What's in your eye glucose monitoring system kit? The contents of your eye glucose kit may vary depending on the specific eye glucose model you have. In this video, we will talk about the eye glucose meter, a lancing device, lancets, test strips, carrying case, AC adapter for the rechargeable battery, and your owner's booklet and other documentation. Getting to know your eye glucose meter. The eye glucose is a small, lightweight blood glucose monitor that easily fits in the palm of your hand and can travel with you easily and discreetly in its carrying case. The meter has three buttons, an up arrow, a down arrow, and a home button. Your meter also has a large LED display window where you will see your blood glucose results, battery life, the date, and the time. At the top of your eye glucose meter is the test strip port, where you will insert a test strip right before each glucose reading. We will cover how to insert the test strip and take a reading later in this video. On the back of the device, you will find important information, like the device's IMEI number. This will be important if you experience any technical issues with your eye glucose meter and need to call our customer service team. At the bottom of the device is the charging port. It is important to fully charge the battery before your first reading. Turning your eye glucose meter on and off. To turn on your eye glucose meter, Press and hold the home button until the meter turns on. You will see the display light up and may hear the meter chime three times. In the next few seconds, the meter will display searching on the display screen. This is your eye glucose establishing a cell connection and setting the date and time. Once this is complete, you will see AT&T display on the top of the screen and then the device will enter standby mode. When the device is in standby mode, it is ready for you to insert a test strip and take a reading. Depending on which model of the eye glucose meter you have, the device will remain in standby mode for 30 to 60 seconds before the display goes dark, unless you have inserted a test strip. Once you have inserted a test strip, the device screen will remain lit for 120 seconds before going dark. If the meter goes dark, the display will come back when you press any button or by inserting a test strip. To turn off the eye glucose meter, make sure the screen is lit by pressing any button, then press and hold the home button for three seconds. Charging the battery. To charge the battery, insert the mini USB charging cable into the charging port at the bottom of the meter and plug the AC adapter into an outlet. When the meter begins to charge, a blue light will appear above the screen and the screen will light up. On the screen, you will see a charging battery icon. It's important to note that you cannot take a glucose reading while the device is charging. It may take two to three hours for the device to fully charge, so it may be helpful to charge your meter at night or in between your typical testing times. When charging is complete, the battery icon will be solid green. Replacing the battery. If you need to replace the battery for any reason, remove the back of your eye glucose meter by inserting your thumb into the small groove on the side of the meter near the bottom of the cover and lift up. Once the cover is off, you can replace the old battery with the new battery and replace the back cover. It should snap into place tightly. At this point, be sure to fully charge the new battery before taking your next reading. Setting the date and time. Because your eye glucose is connected to the AT&T cellular network, 
the date and time are automatically set when the device turns on and connects to the cell network. If you would like to manually set the date and time, press the up arrow to access the settings menu, then select the date and time option by using the up down arrows and press the home button to select. Once you are in the date time menu, select the set date option. Use the home button to select and then use the up down arrows to change the year, month, or day as necessary. Once you have entered the desired date, press the Home button. A Done message will appear on the screen. Repeat these steps for any other changes you need to make to the time or the format in how date and time appear. To exit the Settings menu, use the up-down arrows to scroll to the Back option. Press the Home button to select. Choosing a blood testing mode. To provide a better understanding of your blood glucose results, your eye glucose meter can record your readings as either before meal or after meal. Before meal is represented as a whole apple picture, while after meal is represented by an eaten apple picture. There are two ways you can set your blood testing mode. First is by simply pressing the home button when the eye glucose is in standby mode. This will allow you to switch back and forth between the before meal and after meal modes. Additionally, you can change your blood testing mode by navigating to the settings menu and scrolling to the blood testing option. From here, the blood testing menu appears and you can select before meal or after meal. When you navigate back to the home screen, the correct Apple picture will appear. Confirming signal quality. The eye glucose meter is a cellular device. Each time you perform a blood glucose test, the meter will automatically connect to the cellular network and transmit your test result to your healthcare provider or care team. In the rare instance where your meter is not connecting to a cell network, you can call the Smart Meter Customer Service Team and they will assist you in the use of the signal quality function. Getting ready for testing. Before performing a blood glucose test, make sure you have all the necessary items prepared, which include your eye glucose meter, test strips, lancing device, and lancets. When it's time to test, the first thing you will need to do is prepare the lancing device. Remove the cap by pulling it away from the base of the device. Insert a new lancet firmly into the lancing device. Twist off the protective cover of the lancet. Make sure you set it aside for when you're ready to dispose of the lancet. Replace the cap firmly. Choose the desired depth by rotating the top portion of the cap. Pull and release the plunger of the lancing device so that it is locked and ready to pierce your finger. Performing a blood glucose test. It's very important to wash your hands with soap and warm water prior to testing. Be sure to also dry thoroughly with a clean paper towel. Set your meter test mode to either before meal or after meal. With the strip window facing you, Insert the test strip straight down into the test strip port. The test strip should fit securely into the port. You should hear it click into place to confirm that it's inserted correctly. At this time, you will see a message on the display screen that says, Strip inserted. About three seconds later, you will see the message change to apply a drop of blood. You are now ready to prick your finger. Do so by placing the end of the lancing device against your fingertip and press the release button. You only need a very small amount of blood for the test strip to register it. Touch and hold the blood drop to the edge of the sample port until the window is filled with blood. If the view window is not completely filled with blood, the test will not start, and you will need to discard the test strip and redo the reading with a new one. 
when the view window is filled with blood, the eye glucose meter will show a countdown clock on the display screen, and after five seconds, your result will appear. Note, the eye glucose measures blood glucose levels between 20 and 600 milligrams per deciliter. If the test result is below 20, low will appear on the screen. If the test result is above 600, high will appear on the screen. If you receive either a low or high reading, repeat the test with a new test strip. If you still receive a low or high reading, contact your healthcare provider. Removing the used lancet. Pull off the cap of the lancing device. Locate the protective lancet cover you set aside earlier. Without touching the used lancet, securely insert the sharp lancet tip into the protective lancet cover. Hold the release button of the lancing device with one hand and pull on the plunger with the other to safely eject the used lancet. Discard the used lancet into a sharps container or per your state's guidelines. Replace the lancing device cap. We will review how to clean and disinfect the lancing device and eye glucose meter later in this video. Removing the used test strip. Hold the test strip by its right edge. Rotate the test strip upwards while simultaneously pulling up. This will allow you to remove the test strip out of the test strip port. Once you have removed the used test strip, discard it in a sharps container or per your state's guidelines, just like you did the used lancet. Recalling test results. The eye glucose meter can automatically store a maximum of 500 test results with date and time. If your meter has stored 500 results, the newest result will replace the oldest result. If you take a reading at a time where you are unable to connect to a cellular network, the meter will store the reading and automatically transmit it the next time it receives a signal. There is no additional action required by you. Obtaining reading averages. To view your averages, use the down arrow on the home screen to access the averages menu. The eye glucose meter stores the averages of your blood glucose results for the last 7, 14, 30, 60, and 90 days. Use the up-down arrows to scroll through the menu options. And use the Home button to select your desired menu option. You can view your test result history by selecting Prior Readings from the Averages menu. Once selected, the history list appears and you will be able to scroll through the last 500 readings. How to conduct a control solution test. To ensure your eye glucose meter is correctly calibrated, you should conduct control solution tests periodically. To do so, you will need the eye glucose meter, test strips, and right test control solution. Please note that depending on which eye glucose model you have, right test control solution may or may not be included in your eye glucose system kit. To place an order for control solution, please contact the Smart Meter customer service team. Once you have the necessary supplies ready, briefly press any button on the eye glucose device to wake it up if the screen is black. Select the settings menu by pressing the up arrow button and scroll to the control solution menu option. Press the home button to select. You will see a message appear on the screen that says Control solution only. Do not test blood. From here, insert a test strip into the test strip port. Be sure to close the cap to the test strip vial tightly and immediately. Wait for the Apply a Drop of Control Solution message to appear on the screen. This will happen about three seconds after the test strip has been inserted. Once this message appears, you will have 120 seconds to perform the test. If you exceed the 120-second window, you will have to repeat the test using a new test strip. Next, shake the bottle of right test control solution well before removing the cap. 
place the cap on a clean, stable surface, and apply a drop of control solution on the top of the cap. Gently touch the sample port of the strip to the control solution on top of the cap. It's important to note that you should not drip the control solution on the test strip sample port directly, as this may cause it to flood and contaminate the meter. The eye glucose meter will now count down, and after five seconds, the test results will appear on the screen. An acceptable range for control solution results is between 88 and 120. If you get a result that is outside of that range, repeat the control solution test again with a new test strip. If you again receive a reading that is out of range, contact our customer support team for more help. Just like with regular glucose readings, control solution readings are also stored in the menu of prior readings. Caring for your eye glucose meter and lancing device. For best use, keep your eye glucose meter and accessories like test strips dry and dust free. We recommend storing them in the carrying case at room temperature when not in use. To clean and disinfect your eye glucose meter and lancing device, thoroughly wipe down their entire surfaces with a damp cloth or disinfecting wipe. Be careful not to get the strip port wet on your eye glucose meter. To disinfect, take another disinfecting wipe and wipe down the entire meter and lancing device again. Allow them to remain wet for two minutes before letting them air dry. This concludes our video. While we covered a number of topics and everything you need to be able to set up your eye glucose meter and take successful readings, there is more detailed information in your owner's booklet. And this video should not be a substitute for reading it. For more information, or if you have additional questions about your eye glucose monitoring system, please contact eye glucose customer support by emailing us at support at iGlucose.com.